Mail call time here at the Bohemian Apiary. Mail call. We like mail call. When we get packages, we get cool stuff to either test out or uh, or just really look at. We like, we like things that are bee related. We like things that uh, can help us teach people about bees or share our information about bees. So anytime we can find really cool things like old smokers, you know, really neat uh, tools that have been introduced and test them out here in the apiary is our favorite time. So um, definitely if you're interested in trying to have one of your products um, tested here at our apiary and uh, either uh, premiered on one of our YouTube videos, you know, absolutely contact us, send us a message. We'll be happy to accommodate. We uh, purchase a lot of the stuff that we uh, demonstrate so that we have an unbiased opinion. Um, a few things sometimes have been uh, provided to us to, to do a review. Um, we try to give our, our unbiased opinion on those as well. But most of the stuff we find um, are really things that we purchase that we want to test out because we love innovation. We love new things. We love when beekeepers create things. So <clears throat> these two packages are from a good friend of ours uh, in the beekeeping community. Uh, many of you know Castle Hives. You know, everybody knows Brian from Castle Hives. He is a wizard with a 3D printer. The man can make the coolest stuff on a 3D printer. So if you've not seen his Etsy store, I'll put a link in the description below. Check out some of the cool stuff that he has made. Uh, little gadgets, uh, feeder nipples, and various other smaller uh, trinkets that you can use for your beehive use, uh, as well as some cool little things for teaching purposes. And that's what we got today. We got them in the mail, and we're so excited to open them up and share them with you, what they look like and how we're gonna use them to teach our classes. So let's just dig right in. We got our trusty opener, and we'll open the first one. Which one should we open right, right or left? Uh, let's just pick one. Let's go with this one right here. I don't know which one's which, but I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna see the first, you're gonna be the first person with us, to see what it looks like, and experience it right live with us. So let's take a look what we got. Well packaged. Good job, Brian. I got my invoice in here. And, oh yeah, here we go. This, my friends, is awesome. We got a little hive stand. We've got a little honey super. We've got some frames for that little honey super. These were all made on his 3D printer. I can't, so amazing the detail and just how, I mean, he's got the little frame rests. I mean, the handles on the boxes look legit. Um, it's just amazing. It's just, I think he did such a great job with this. I had to share it. We got a little building of a honey super. Oh look, a queen excluder. Queen excluder. We've got, looks like we got a bottom board. There's your bottom board. We're going to set that right there on our hive stand. We've got a top cover, telescoping top cover, inner cover with the hole. Looks like we, here's our deep box. Oh, look at that. In the deep box, he has made a feeder, an inner feeder. This is a frame feeder that uh, are used, I use them in my apiary. And of course you can fit it right into the box. It's got additional little frames in here. This is so cool. Good job, Brian. Very good job. Here's your deep frames and your medium frames, two different size frames, good job. I guess those are the replacement frames when I'm choosing to not feed with my test hive or my demonstration hive. He thought of everything. Let's go ahead and put the frames in here. See how many there. That should be a 10 frame super or is that a nine frame super? Brian, what'd you give me here? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 frame super. And as you all know, we do nine frame supers here and spread the frames out a little bit more so that the comb is built out a little deeper to let the honey, the honey be built up in those combs a little bit more. But hey, I'm glad that he provided 10 frames so that I have a 10 frame super if I so choose. And look at that, it's a little entrance reducer. How cute. The big side, the little side, or you can remove it. That's just the coolest thing, Brian. And of course, you can't go wrong without a Castle Hives logo. So there we go, we've got our own little mini beehive. Stand, the bottom board, and put a little entrance reducer on, fits perfect. Our deep box, move that out a little bit to the end. And put a little deep box on. 
We're gonna put a queen excluder just so we can put it all together. Rails down as Bob says, or Vinny says rails down. That's how he puts them. Then we'll put our honey super on top. That's so cool. Set our extra frames to the side. We're not gonna use those. We'll use definitely have our inner cover, right? And their telescoping cover. That goes together very well. All we're missing is the little bees. Little bees. That's all we're missing. Perfect. There you go. It's a well-made hive by Castle Hives, Brian at Castle Hives, using his 3D printer. Very creative, Brian. Great job. I think that's awesome. And I appreciate the uh, quality of workmanship, dude. That's so great. So let's go open the next one up. I wonder what this one's going to be. Can't be another beehive. It's got to be something different, right? Maybe. Who knows? Let's see. All right. Drum roll. Invoice. Packing material. Packing material. Perfect. Got another sticker. Business card. Castle Hives. And up. Oh, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got another sticker. Let's see what we got here. Stuck in the bottom of the box. All right. Here we go. We have a top bar hive. Very cool. With its own little stand. This is a new enhancement that Brian has created. Perfect for the top bar hive. We got our division board if we so choose to use that. And look at all these little top bars. He said that you can break them off if you so choose and put them in individually so you can show how you're setting it up or you could just keep them whole Look, he even has enough if you don't have a division board. Man thinks of everything. A little daintier when they're small. It's kind of like that queen excluder on the other one. All right. Perfect. We'll just put those on there for the sake of, so we can put our cover on. There's our top bar cover. And there we go. Hive number two from Mr. Uh, Castle Hives, Brian. I think this is awesome. I love getting mail, because especially mail when it's bee related. These are the coolest things that I have seen in a long time from Brian at Castle Hives. Um, they're just so neat to be able to display. You can use them in classes when you're teaching about the components of a hive, the different styles of hives. It's really neat. It's a great teaching tool. It's great quality workmanship, free, all 3D printed from his shop, uh, located in he doesn't tell me where he's located. I thought I should know that. Uh, but Brian, you can reach Brian. Um, we'll put a link in the description below uh, so you can get these if you want his Etsy store. Um, they're affordable. They're very affordable for what they are and the amount of time that I think goes into 3D printing something and uh, just kind of packaging up the way he has quality work. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a short one, but I'm just trying to take a look at what we got today on mail. And this is a great treat. Uh, here at Bohemia Apiary, we love cool things like this that we can display, use for our teaching purposes, and something that we can support the community of other beekeepers that, uh, that make this kind of cool stuff. So always keep remembering that uh, you know, beekeeping is, is about innovation and creating new things and contributing and sharing and collaborating. It's, it's really what the community is about. So thanks, Brian. Appreciate it from Castle Hives. These are going to go well, look well in my shop and be helpful for when I'm teaching classes. So thanks again, Brian. Remember here at Bohemia Apiary, though, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. <laughs> it's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.